Hey guys, it's Kayla here from Journey Dog Training coming back to you guys from Missoula, Montana um, with an exciting update. Um, so as many of you guys know, um, coronavirus is raging. It is April 1st. Um, and so I, like many of you, am social distancing in my home. Um, Montana just issued a shelter in place order a couple days ago. Um, so all of my work travel is canceled and I'm pretty much just at home which meant um, that I'm actually able to take on a behaviorally challenging foster dog. Normally this is something that I would, oh, I'd would i like to do, um, but because I travel so much for work, it's just not fair for me to take on a dog that I'm not going to be able to keep for more than, you know, maybe a couple weeks at a time. Um, so I'm fostering this new dog, Madge, from the Humane Society of Western Montana. Um, we don't know much about her. She's extremely fearful and under-socialized, probably a puppy mill dog, or a hoarding case. Um, she was originally picked up in Arizona, um, has some records there, then was adopted out by a shelter here in Montana to a family about six months ago. They were way over their heads with her, so she was surrendered to the Humane Society of Western Montana, um, and I'm taking her on. So as of right now, what I know about Madge is that she shows no social behaviors towards people, as far as we know. Um, she's not comfortable being handled. Um, she does not walk on a leash. She does not go potty outside. She does reliably use potty pads. Um, my goal for the next couple days or even week is just to get her to eat in my presence. Ideally then I will start getting her to eat from my hand or from food that I toss. And from there we can start with some training. Um, so our very first step is just going to be getting her used to me and helping her eat. I'm gonna show you guys what I've got here. Um, if you guys ever are fostering hoarding case dogs, puppy mill dogs, severely under socialized dogs, really, really fearful dogs, or if you've got one in your home, I hope that this video series is gonna help you guys out. And I'm going to try to record video, um, you know, whenever there's anything to share as Madge and I go along our journey. So first things first, Madge is on meds. Um, this is incredibly helpful because her baseline stress level right now is so high that I doubt she's going to be able to eat or even learn um, with me around. So um, the Humane Society of Western Montana Vets have prescribed her gabapentin um, and fluoxetine. So if you guys have a dog like this that you cannot handle, the dog is not comfortable with your presence, is not comfortable with life in general, talk to your vet about meds. Um, your vet might have some ideas other than fluoxetine and gabapentin. There are a lot of behavioral medications out there. I am not a vet, so I can't give you any advice, but I can tell you that's what Madge is on right now. So that's first things first, um, meds. And then in order to get the meds into this dog, because right now, as I said, she's not eating, I have quite um, the little buffet that I just picked up for her to hopefully entice her to eat. So got a bunch of string cheese. And I got a massive thing of turkey franks. Um, those are going to be hopefully really useful. Um, I also picked up a whole bunch of cat food. So these guys are like 65 cents per. Um, and the reason I got so many is because I got a variety. So we got um, a pate, a fish flavored pate. It's ocean white fish and tuna. We got chunky gravy. That's salmon. And we got prime filet that's also white fish and tuna um i'm trying to give her both an option of um, protein source as well as um, consistency and so we'll see if she likes anything particularly well um then we also got turkey dinner in prime filet um and we got turkey with extra chunky gravy and then we finally got chicken shreds um so again kind of a variety of different protein sources variety of different textures we'll see what she likes um, I'm probably going to offer these to her on pretzel sticks um, so that I can extend that out to her. Um, and if she does like it and she wants to, to take that whole pretzel stick, she can do that. I also have a click stick that I might end up using, um, which is a Karen Pryor click stick. Um, we'll just kind of see how it goes. Again, I don't anticipate that happening right away. Um, I'm probably going to rely on hot dogs to hide meds in and try to get meds into her um, because I don't expect her to eat. Um, from a click stick or from my hand at all right away. Also got potty pads. And then she actually came with a variety of different toys um, that supposedly she plays with while people are sleeping, um, which is cute, but also potentially going to be annoying. Um, but we'll deal with that if that ever happens. Um, and then I want to show you guys her setup, so. All right, you guys. So I live in a studio apartment. 
Um, so there's not a whole lot of room here. Please don't mind the dirty laundry. First off, we've got an exercise pen right here. Um, this is just going to keep her in and keep Barley out. Um, she's got water, um, and there she is, shut in her crate. She's got a really comfy little bed. So there's Miss Madge. Um, you guys can see, you know, her brow is really furrowed. She's avoiding eye contact. She's got some airplane ears going on. She's not happy with me being right here, being that close. Um, and then the most important thing as well is right there. These are um, weatherproof mats that you would kind of use in like a garage or um, porch situation to help um, protect my floors. So I will put all of her stuff down on top of that to keep my floors safe from her. So that's my basic setup on day one um, with my new foster dog. Um, I will keep you guys posted as we go along. I will probably try to film most of my work with her and um, I'm sure a lot of it is going to look really boring. So I'm going to probably be editing and making compilations, but I, ho I hope you guys understand that that's not because I'm trying to hide anything from you. It's just because I expect this to be slow going and boring work. So I'll show you guys as much as you need in order to be able to replicate it, but I'm not going to show you 70 reps of me doing the same thing over and over with her, okay? Um, so stay, stay tuned. Um, again, Kayla of Journey Dog Training. If you guys are struggling with your own dogs that need help, um, you guys can find me online at journeydogtraining.com. Um, I offer remote behavioral support both via email, um, video chat, and phone call. Um, and I've been doing that for years, so I'm quite skilled at it um, and can help you guys out no matter where you are in the world. I also have several ebooks and courses and all that good stuff um, and just tons of videos here on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Um, so uh, let me know um, what you guys need help with um, in the comments below if you've got dogs, um, you know, a severely under-socialized dog, and uh, we'll get through this together. Um, Till next time. Bye.